Hello YouTubers, welcome to Football Index Videos 5 Live um, on YouTube and this is on BrainBank TV, thank you for joining me today um, for those of you who have uh, never joined me before, if you just have uh, viewed this content for the first time then this is uh, the part of the channel where I put out content um, based on uh, Football Index uh, the, the uh, platform where you can buy play, uh, shares and players and invest in their long in their long term um abilities or their your belief in them basically and um try to earn a profit on that spread and basically so far we we've kind of uh, putting up videos out there showing ideas of how to buy players um how the platform kind of works um some some videos on the news and stuff like that so just do check out some other content on the channel if you're if you're not quite familiar with this um topic before but in any case um I, d I released a video yesterday uh, just de detailing some information on diversification with regards to portfolio management on the platform and in association with um, the comparisons to the general stock market as a whole and um, based on that I, I talked about um, using a theme to, to go shopping really um, the idea of kind of having an idea of, of, of what kind of subject matter you're, you're kind of looking at with regards to how you want to approach the market especially if you don't have too much technicals to go by or you're not kind of going and saying I want to buy players based on performance alone or stats or whatnot then you kind of have to have a theme of what you're going for and yesterday I shared a theme of um, trying to buy players based on um, a, a high dividend payouts so I, I shared some some information with you guys regarding the research I did uh, based on the historical dividend winners uh, uh, stats that we've got here and as you can see from what we we had on this uh, the, the, a lot of the time uh, this is between the 8th of the 2nd and the 31st of last month March and um, you can see United's in there quite a lot and you can kind of tell the names that tend to win the stuff and that's um that's exactly what i've kind of done is i've put a, a checklist out of uh some of the players who regularly earn those dividends as pardon me and um the 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 kind of um idea that i thought was if i could set up the portfolio and diversify it and have a balanced diversified portfolio it might be it might not be balanced at the start because you then have to get the funds and buy uh, as you go along and I don't try to balance out from the very start um, but essentially you'd you'd what my idea would be to have a portion of that portfolio serving as a, a dividend um, earner so you I personally would probably want to see at least um, 40 anywhere between 40 to 60 percent of my portfolio um, solely focused on dividend earners because I, I like those re recurring um, um, charges that you get into your account for those and um, from from that I came up with a, a list of um, sort of five to seven players that I thought were in the in the right sort of time to buy those players, and this is due to the fact that the full football's currently cancelled, as you guys already know, and there's no current um, time frame as to how that's that that the length of that cancellation is going to be, and when the uh, Premier League is going to resume as normal. And um, until that's done, we, we do know and can kiss goodbye to the performance um, buzz dividends that you get from this. Um, so this all solely focused on the media dividends. And um, so that's what I picked my theme on. And for the next um, month or so, starting on the 4th, we're going to have five um, dividend placeholders, as I've already mentioned in my previous videos. And as such, um, it only makes more sense to have um, a few more of those dividend um, earners in there because you, you could potentially get one or two or three of those um, uh, win you dividends on any particular day in a 30 day period. So that's the, the kind of idea behind the strategy um, and the theme. And um, continuing on from where we left off yesterday, Messi wasn't the only guy I've been looking at to do this with. Um, 
I kind of have a, a an a, a way of how I, I plan to scale into the market when it comes to acquiring some of these players and I'm working my way up from the cheapest um, of that category of dividend earners Messi being one of them because of because of his age, but um, considerably a lot higher than a lot of these players that are coming through um, the ranks at the moment. So because of that, I bought um, Chel um, Messi, Lionel Messi yesterday, got 17 of them, um, 82-62, and um, since then he's gone up 5p, 85p um, capital appreciation gain there for 85p. And um, today we went in um, and... Uh, to take advantage of that uh, media day uh, deadline, which is uh, 3 p.m. Uh, BST, British summer time. So we went in for Ronaldo um, because he was kind of buzzing up the media base at the moment. Um, he's kind of fallen down the ranks slightly since then, but I, I had to go in for him prior to um, the 3 p.m deadlock because if I was to qualify for the dividends for the day I'd have to do that so that's what I did and currently um, I hold 30 shares of Ronaldo at 321 and we are doing not too bad with him he's only gone up a piece since I got him and yeah so I just wanted you guys to know how that was going on how I was approaching um the theme as discussed from yesterday and Ronaldo wouldn't be the last of it really there's a uh, there's about 10 10 to 12 players um, that I've been watching this year that consistently um, pretty much appear in those dividend standings and um, the way I see it I'd have to acquire at least six of them to be in a good standing and a portfolio um, balancing um, to make sure that they're, they're all equally weighed and I can have um, ample opportunity to get those dividends in over a, 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 a month's period basically and um, as you might know or if you're not aware there's going to be a re a review of the current um, uh, restructures that have been put in place with regards to the placeholders um, the extra two placeholders to make that five placeholders and the dividend extensions that have been put in place that will be kicking in on the th and on the fourth of this month um so that's going to be uh, under review on the last week of um of april uh, start to review that and I'm, I'm sure we'll get some some news on that just before the the month end to see if um there's been any updates regards to the Premier League's restarting and um, the restructuring of the dividend placeholders on the Football Index platform. But yeah, until then, um, at the moment, all we can do is trade off the media buzz because that's all that's going on at the moment. There's a lot of tra transfer rumours, a lot of um, loan deals that will potentially be made depending on what the um, the situation is and if the, they can actually battle it out with all the... the um, the lawsuits that might potentially um, uh, get into the front line with, with regards to the coronavirus and, and how everything's progressing at the moment. So no one really knows what's going on. It's all up in the air, but at the moment there is still some room to, to get some some um, some gains in the index uh, uh, playing on some themes um, that kind of fit into the situation at hand currently. So it, it just depends on how you play the game. Um, I know a lot of people have a lot of different kind of strategies they use in, in systems and they must all um, work to a certain degree. But as uh, as you know, uh, you kind of have to keep trying. And and for me, the dividend um, earners are a good way of kind of getting that reoccurring um, payment to, to kind of satisfy that need to trade. Um, but yeah. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, if I make any more purchases or if I um, adjust anything with regards to the plat uh, the platform and the the portfolio, then I will update you guys with another video. Or um, as I discussed with you guys, I did um, potentially want to do um, a series where I compare different strategy different strategies although I said that you can't buy those players on a different um, 
on a different portfolio because Football Index only offers one portfolio per user according to the um, the laws that they have um, in the UK. So, and unfortunately, Football Index is a is a monopoly in the in the industry they're in at the moment. So you can't get any any more brokers to to go off and go start another account somewhere else and start buying Jaden Sancho's won't happen. Um, so yeah. Anyway. Uh, that will be all for me today, guys. Uh, I will be revisiting some more um, information as they come about. But yeah, thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the a video and the topics that we're discussing here, do share, subscribe and click the like button at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now.